The U.S. Air Force took an important first step March 13 when F-22 Raptors deployed to Clark Air Base, marking the first time U.S. fifth-generation fighters have ever deployed to the Philippines, the USAF announced. This was the first time that F-22s, or any fifth-generation aircraft, have landed on and operated out of the Philippines, Captain Carl Schroeder, a Raptor pilot assigned to the 525th Fighter Squadron, said in an Air Force news release. This milestone with a regional ally aids in providing stability and security to the Indo-Pacific. The F-22 deployment, which took place on March 13 and 14, comes as the U.S. is undertaking a major effort to strengthen and expand its posture in the Pacific to deter China's growing military might. Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin III secured access last month to four bases in the Philippines, though discussions still need to be conducted between the two countries on how they might be improved and used. On March 13, the US, Australia, and Britain announced a deal that will provide nuclear submarines to Canberra in the 2030s and 2040s. Under that pact, US and British attack submarines are to rotate through a base near Perth, Australia, starting in 2027. The U.S. Marines plan to establish a Marine Littoral Regiment in Okinawa by 2025 while Japan is moving ahead with a plan to build up its defense capability, including by buying Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles from the U.S. The Air Force, for its part, has been working on expanding its access to bases in the region under its Agile Combat Employment, or ACE, plan that aims to disperse its aircraft and make them harder for China to target. There's a strategic calculation on the part of the Biden administration to build up our allies, Patrick Cronin, an expert on the Asia-Pacific at the Hudson Institute, told Air and Space Forces magazine. When Marcos came in, that provided this strategic upgrade opportunity, he added, referring to Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., who was sworn in in June 2022 following Rodrigo Duterte. They've been leaning forward in terms of showing that we really will defend you if you're threatened. Cronin said. The fact that we had brought F-22s now into Cadena meant it was easy to deploy to a place like the Philippines on a mission and on exercises, so that also made it possible.